Hello everyone. Uh, now we have the talk by Ignor Öster. I'm her mentor. We had so much fun during uh, the summer. Um, yeah, she's from Rotsdai University. She's going to tell us about root systems and answering skills. Take it away. Hello everyone. Uh, as my mentor mentioned, I will talk about root systems. Um, first, I will define reflection, and then uh, I will uh, introduce root systems, and after that, I will match root system to their thinking diagrams, and in the final part, we will play a game um, called Constant Game, and through this game, we will obtain an important result. So let's start with reflection. You can see some vectors. And our aim is reflect beta with respect to H alpha. H alpha is our reflective type of plane, which has a normal vector alpha. And S alpha beta is uh, our reflection. Now, let's look how to it. Uh, for construct S alpha beta, first reflect uh, first, uh, draw projection vector beta to alpha. Uh, uh, draw projection vector beta to alpha, and then uh, take uh, reverse this vector and multiply by two and subtract beta, and then we can obtain as beta. This is formal definition, a reflection of the <laughs> transformation, uh, as we just defined. Now uh, we are diving into root systems, but before a uh, formal definition, I want to explain the geometric background of the system. This is a triangle. You can see some uh, color lines and uh, these lines are uh, reflection lines of a triangle, and we can construct the vectors as an orthogonal of each uh, each of these lines. For example, take L3 and the orthogonal vector, you can say normal vector actually. The normal vector of L3 is alpha, and the worst one is minus alpha. And you can uh, take all of these vectors as the orthogonal vector of each, uh, reflection line and this collection of uh, vectors uh, create a root system. Let's look at formal definition. We represent root system with uh, phi. A root system phi is a finite on any set of vectors. Um, phi uh, span v. Uh, v is a vector space that uh, phi lives in and does not contain zero. And uh, if alpha in phi, uh, you can remember uh, minus alpha must be in phi, and the only multiple of alpha is minus alpha. And phi uh, is closed under reflection. In this talk, we will focus on crystallography systems, but, but this is technical detail. Now we define root system. We know root system has some of the roots, and uh, in this root, some of them are special. We call simple root. Simple root is a basis for a root system. What I mean by that, uh, in a vector, uh, a root system, uh, in the vectors of root system can be written as a linear combination of simple roots, and simple root must be linearly independent. And uh, the cardinality of simple root equals uh, the rank of B. Um, now we define root systems. Uh, in the later of presentation, we will focus on finite reducible root system. Finite means root system has finite roots, and irreducible means the root system cannot be written as Dijon union of two different root system. And if it is not irreducible, we call it reducible. Um, if you cannot imagine, don't worry, I will give an example of reducible and irreducible one. Uh, these are all irreducible systems. Um, 
A and B and C and D and are infinite families. Uh, in that, the annual is important. And we have five exceptional systems, B6, E7, E8, G2, and F4. Let's start with simple example. Rank one, rank one means N is equal one. It means uh, there are just one simple group. Let's call alpha. And we know that if alpha is here, minus alpha must be here. So uh, A1, uh, the root system A1 just uh, has alpha and minus alpha. Now I will talk about uh, rank two examples. You can remember this picture uh, in the vectors uh, of this picture. Uh, it's the root system of A2. A2 is a symmetric group of regular triangle. And uh, in that case, the simple root is alpha and beta. I forget to say that um, I define simple root and I said simple root is a basis for root systems. What I mean, the vectors in the root system can be written as linear combination, but in that linear combination, the important point is the coefficients. The coefficients must have same sign, what I mean, positive or negative, and we can separate the roots, positive roots and negative roots, as you can see. And um, these roots um, are constructed uh, in special way. Uh, the angle between simple root is imported. In that case, it is 2 pi over 3, and their length is similar. Uh, they have same length. Uh, you can imagine A2 in R2, you can uh, choose some appropriate vectors. This is one of the examples, and you can see in R2. This is B2, the construction is the same. Uh, B2 is a symmetric group square, and you can see the vectors, and in that case, the simple group is alpha and beta. Uh, now, uh, in B2, the angle between simple root 2 pi over 4, you can see, you can compute this angle, and the ratio of their length is uh, square root of 3. You can compute this angle using uh, square. And similarly, you can choose some appropriate vectors, and you can imagine B2 in R2. This is G2. G2 is our special one because we cannot generalize Gn. This is just G2. And these are the vectors. Um, in that case, the angle between them, 5 pi over 6, and the ratio of the length is of 3. Similarly, you can choose some appropriate vectors, and you can draw in G2. This is D2. So far, I've talked about irreducible system, but now we have a reducible one. D2 has vectors alpha, minus alpha, beta, and minus beta. It looks like there are two A1. The first A1 is alpha and minus alpha, and the second A1 is beta and minus beta. So uh, we say D2 is reducible root system and isomorphic to A1 cross A1. And in that case, the angle between them, P pi over uh, 2, and they have same length. Similarly, in now we defined uh, root systems, uh, and um, now we draw diagrams. Uh, we will match uh, root systems to the Dinkin diagrams. Dinkin diagrams encode all data from the root system. Um, Dinkin diagrams has two uh, important properties. First, vertices. Vertices uh, labeled with simple roots and edges. Um, no edge if the vectors are orthogonal, and um, simple undirected edge if the angle is uh, 2 pi over 3, and uh, directed double edge if the angle 2 pi over 4, and directed triple edge if they make an angle of 5 pi over 6. This is all finite, this is all linking diagram to finite irreducible root systems. Now we know the diagrams. 
And uh, in the later of the presentation, I want to play a game with you. This game played on thinking diagrams. And for this, I have to choose one of them. And I choose D4. Uh, there are four uh, simple rules. And um, I will give rule, I will give rules why I play in the game. You do not have to memorize the rules, just try to follow the game. I labeled vertices with zero. And now I have to choose one of them. It's not important. Let's start with C1 and change zero to one. Now we have one and the others are zero. With this step, I broke the balance. So maybe some of them are unhappy. But what is unhappy? Let's focus on C2. Uh, and uh, sum of all neighbors, one plus zero plus zero is one divided by three is greater than C2. So C2 is unhappy. And I have to fix this because I don't want an unhappy vertex. So how, how can I fix this? I replace C2 with the sum of their neighbors and minus C2. In that case, one plus zero plus zero minus zero is one. So new C U equals one. Now C3 is unhappy. C2 and C1 is okay, but C3 is unhappy. Uh, there are just one neighbor, C2, and one divided by two is greater than zero. So I I will do uh, same thing again, and for C4 again. Now, the corner ones are, are not unhappy, okay, but the middle one, we, we can uh, control the middle one. One plus one plus one divided by two is greater than one, so C2 is unhappy. I have to fix, for fix, I, I will sum all neighbors, one plus one plus one, minus one, two. I replace one with two to make unhappiness. Now, there's no problem. There's no unhappy vertex. But if they're not unhappy, what they are? We say if uh, the label of vertex is uh, equals of half of their neighbors, we say happy. If it's greater, we say money. In this case, the happy ones, C1, C2, and C4, and the manic one, C, C2. The game we played our constant game. This is all uh, the statement. Um, we've already played, so uh, I will not focus on this slide, but you can come back and play it uh, yourself. And our game, uh, the game will terminate when everyone is either happy or manic. In other words, our uh, goal is have none of our choices be unhappy. This is generalization. Remember, we played this game on D4. Uh, what I mean by that, there is no arrows. They're just undirected single edge, but we want to play the same on all of thinking diagrams, and some of them are, are uh, directed. So we have to generalize. We have to modify this game. There are just modification is this coefficient and ej. And this is the number of arrows from g to x. Now we uh, played a game on thinking diagrams. And thinking diagrams associate two rule systems, so the rules must be meaningful. Uh, let's uh, examine the idea behind of the steps of the game. Uh, for example, this, let's start with unhappy vertex and let's do a reflection. In that case, we reflex beta with respect to uh, H alpha k. What I mean, uh, H alpha k has a normal vector alpha k. Now, after this reflection, we obtain this, and uh, we can observe that in the 
uh, at the beginning, the coefficient of alpha k is c, ck. But now, this has changed to this, as we did in the game. So we say that the rules of this game comes from reflection. And in order to have no unhappy vertices, we replace root to another root. Let's look at this example. This is A2. And we played this game. We, we started with C2, 1. And after that, we changed C1, 1. And uh, there are no unhappy vertex. The game is terminated. Uh, let's focus. We started with C2. And we ended C1 equals 1, C2 equals 1. Now, this is root system A2. And let beta equals alpha 2, what I mean, C2 equals 1. And let's reflect beta, which is at the L. L has normal vector alpha 1. And now we obtained uh, C1 equals 1 and C2 equals 2, A coefficients. And the coefficients of C1 has changed like we did in the game. And um, we play the game, but uh, what this game tells us why we play this? Uh, this is all irreducible, finite irreducible root system. Don't care the details, just focus on the naming. And um, we want to classify fi finite irreducible root system, but it is not easy. So we have we, we can classify their linking diagrams because we match this. And for this, uh, we can play a game like uh, we, we just did. And through this game, we can obtain, we say the constant game will terminate on a graph if and only if the graph is the kin diagram of finite type. Finite type means uh, there are finitely many rules. And just playing a game, we can uh, classify all uh, finite irreducible root system and uh, attention to this if and only statement. What I mean, if the game uh, do not terminate, we cannot say that it's a Dinkin diagram of finite type. And if it is not a Dinkin diagram of finite type, the game won't. <laughs> <laughs> 